All right, today we're gonna to talk about my favorite e-bike winter gear. If you guys follow me on social media, you'll know I posted a blog about this at blog.randyrides.com. You can go check out my winter gear blog that has links to everything for these products. We're gonna start from our head, work our way down to our feet, and we're gonna talk about a bunch of products that I use on a regular basis in the winter time. So the first products we're going to talk about right now are headwear. These are different types of headwear that I've used throughout the years. Many that I kind of have retired like this one, I don't really wear it very much. This will keep you warm, keep your ears warm. And uh, I've always had really good luck wearing this uh, with my standard bike helmet. That's uh, the first product we're going to show today. The next product we're going to talk about is by EXIO. Uh, this is a neck gaiter slash balaclava. I've only had this one, this particular one, for one riding season, and it's already starting to come apart. Um, but this is really comfortable. It does keep you really warm, and it is breathable. So it has spots here for your mouth to get some airflow in, and... That, that will help ventilate, which you, you definitely need in winter riding is some ventilation. So this one, this one is my super cold winter riding. It's a little bit thick with the wool lining. It has full face coverage and then it has a place here with ventilation for your mouth and your nose so you don't fog up your helmet. Um, it is really nice for keeping you warm. I wear this one like below freezing weather to keep me super warm and cozy inside my helmet. And this one I use actually probably the most. This one's by ILM. It's a thinner balaclava and it, this is really comfortable. It fits really good on my head. It's like spandex material and this keeps you warm because it keeps your uh, body heat inside uh, your clothing basically. And this is really nice for a little bit cooler weather but you know like in the 50s 40s or 50s this is nice i have different balaclavas for different temperatures so if it's really cold i usually use the one that i just showed you um, but in lighter temperatures this is uh, one of the ones that i prefer just because it's more comfortable I usually pair those up with my helmet here most of the time i'm wearing this it's mainly a summer helmet i got mine kind of geared out here i got a mirror and a light on the back this is the Bell Super 3R with MIPS, and it's a lightweight mountain bike helmet that I would highly recommend for e-bikes. Uh, it has MIPS built in, so it's going to give you really good protection uh, from a fall, and it's just super comfortable, lightweight, breathable, lots of ventilation. Uh, you won't have to worry about anything getting fogged up, like if you wear glasses for for instance. This helmet features a lifting lid so it's easier to get on and off especially when you have a balaclava on. Uh, this is a full face helmet and it provides a lot of warmth. It's got a lot of padding inside. Uh, the one drawback to this it's going to be a little bit heavier and so you're gonna you're gonna feel that weight after you get off your bike. Uh, that's why I always prefer the lightweight helmets and this one's been my favorite. I hate when my hands are cold. I love having a set of gloves that I don't have to charge all the time, so that's pretty nice. Uh, but they're also super warm, keep your hands warm. They have Thinsulate built into them, and they still have the touchscreen parts of the fingers up here and the thumb uh, that actually work really well. Uh, it's got good grip too, so uh, you're gonna be able to grip your handlebar grips pretty good with that. Now they don't offer any protection if you were to fall or crash your bike. Uh, so that's something to take into account, but I do have another set of gloves to show you that will protect your hands and that's these These are just some cheap motorcycle gloves uh, Simulated leather. I've had these since the beginning of me riding e-bikes uh, I wanted a nice pair of gloves if you're riding in snow I still would recommend using these these usually keep your hands pretty dry uh, But if it's not snowing and it's just cold these have been my go-to they're like uh, when I bought them, they were only like 13 bucks. I don't know what they are now. They have a really hard padding here to protect you if you fall. They also work with touch screens, 
So if you need to text or anything while you're out on the ride, they'll still work. They've held up really well. They're made really well. They're inexpensive. Now these don't work very well with every bike, especially ones that have screens, uh, but you can still make it work. Um, but ba basically you just stick your hand through here, grab your handlebar grip. You're still gonna have access to your brakes and then that'll keep your hands from getting cold. You can pair this with a pair of gloves and keep your hands really warm during winter riding. If it's freezing out, I will use these. Like if it's in the 20s, uh, these I highly recommend uh, for keeping wind off your hands, keeping your hands warm. I'm a little under the weather today, so I don't know if I'm gonna go any, on any bike rides to demonstrate how these work, but you get the point. Uh, you just strap these on both sides of the handlebars and stick your hands through it. Next thing up and probably the most important piece of winter gear that I have, these are thermal underwear, uh, both a shirt and pants, so long sleeve shirt. This particular one's pretty thick material. Uh, this is probably the best thermal underwear that I have right now. Um, I will leave a link in the description for these particular ones, but there are so many different types out there. Um, but these are my personal favorite. They're a lot thicker than the last pair I bought. You can get a shirt and pants set or you can just buy each one separately, uh, whichever you need to do. Uh, but they are super important. They're moisture wicking, so they, they keep you from sweating a lot. When you add layers, you can easily get warm and start to sweat. Uh, with these, it really controls that. These are moisture wicking and I, I think it's probably my most important uh, item on my list that I would highly recommend getting. Uh, these thermal underwear have been great. I love them. I have multiple pairs. I've tried a lot of different brands. These are my favorite ones so far. They're a lot thicker than the other ones and a little bit more stretchy too. So that'll be nice. They kind of contour to your body. This jacket is specifically made for bikers. The company is called InBike. They make a lot of different products, but this particular product is very, very nice. I use it as my winter coat a lot. It's windproof. It's a really lightweight, but it keeps you super warm. It's got liners on the inside of the arms here. It's got a lot of pockets. It's um, got a detachable hood, which is what we have right here. So if you are using it for a winter coat, you can put a hood on it. I don't usually have a hood on mine because I have a helmet, so I take that off. Uh, but it has multiple pockets for your gear and anything you want to carry with you. It's got a reflective stripe on the back and it just is a very nice coat. And I pair this with my pants, which are also windproof, made by the same company. I think it's actually the same line of clothing. Uh, it's got breathable material here. Uh, but also super, super warm. And it also has a reflective logo here that help you be seen in the front a little bit. But overall, these two things right here keep me the warmest and I really like them. If you don't have any winter gear and you just recently purchased your e-bike, this is probably a set that I would get right away. And these are the N-Bike Windproof Jacket and Pants. This is merino wool, and it's super warm, very comfortable. I wear these probably the most out of any of my gear. Uh, this particular one is by Alvada. Uh, you can find these on Amazon. I've used these nonstop multiple times. They've kind of shrunken a little bit from its original size. These have kept my feet so warm over the winter, and I love them even just for around the house, but uh, these are merino wool. They're super warm. These are one of those products that I did a lot of research on because I hate when my feet are cold. These have really helped me stay warm. Um, I highly recommend these. They're not very expensive. Uh, these are one of those essential items that you should probably get. Next to the socks, we have our boots here. These are the Solomons. As you can see, I got some mud on them because I use them for hiking as well. Uh, I love all the Solomon boots. These have, they have a good grip. They keep your feet warm. They got a hard toe here. It's not, it's not a steel toe, but these are just really comfortable shoes to wear out 
when you're hiking, but also for e-bikes. I like wearing boots when I'm on my e-bike. It just kind of protects my ankles and stuff. If you've ever hit your ankle when it's cold out, uh, it's not a very, not a very nice feeling. These kind of protect your ankles. They go up a little higher than a normal shoe. Now, if it is snowing or icing and uh, you still want to ride your e-bike, or if you just live in a climate that's always snowy and icy, like Minnesota or Canada, the V Tire Co. Snowballs are an awesome pick for you. Uh, they are studded tires made for e-bikes. They're for 20 by 4 inch e-bikes. I haven't had a chance to test these out yet because I got them last year and it didn't snow or ice or anything, so I didn't even get to install them and try them out. Hopefully this year it'll be a little different and I'll throw these on one of my bikes, maybe the Grizzly. So that leads us to the last part here. Uh, both of these products I haven't even tested yet, so I can't give my full recommendations. I did want to mention them in this video. Uh, these are a couple products that I'm going to be testing out over the next few weeks. Uh, these are heated gloves and heated socks by Savior Heat. Uh, they include batteries for you know each hand and each foot. You get a set of two batteries per pack, and these are rechargeable. They give you the charger for it. Uh, it's just an AC charger that has two plugs that come in, the plug-in right here. Pretty simple design. Uh, they are supposed to be really good. They have three different levels of heat. They have a battery indicator on them. These two products right here have been something I've been wanting to test out for years. So They sent these out to me to make a review video on, so you'll see that here coming up soon. Uh, but we're going to be using these all winter, testing them, and I'll give you my uh, full honest review after I've used them for a few months. Another thing that I highly recommend for winter riding is a good tail light uh, that flashes, uh, that has good coverage. This particular one from Magic Shine features a camera and it is the See Me DV. It does have a place for an SD card slot and it charges via USB-C. It just has two simple buttons right here for controlling the camera and the tail light. I'm going to be making a full review of this product as well as the headlight they sent me right here. This is the MJ900S. It is a 1500 lumen headlight and it has a battery pack here that looks like it has two 18650s in it. This also charges via USB-C so both products are up to date with the latest technology. We're going to be testing the Magic Shine products as well as the Save Your Heat products in a future video, so stay tuned for that. I want to spend time with both of these products, so I'll go through them in a review video. Uh, this one I'm really excited about. I love cameras. You guys know that if you watch my videos. This is specifically made to record the rear of your bike, so if you were to get into a rear collision, you would have footage of that. Uh, most of the time when I'm recording, I'm recording the front. And the only time I record the rear is when I have my 360 camera out. So that'll be nice to have. It's like a little dash cam for the rear of your bike. So I guess a rear cam. If you are interested in seeing these products, make sure you hit subscribe. Uh, if you're going to purchase any of these products, all the links will be in my blog and in the description of this video. And thanks for watching. I'll see you guys soon.